everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Chef Sarah, this is Yay. my kid. And today we're gonna be making a recipe for you that we've been watching trend all over social media. It's called smoked queso. So the idea is you put all of these ingredients in a pan and you go about cooking something else. Maybe it's your 4th of July hot dogs, maybe it's steaks for dinner, and the queso cooks itself in the smoker or also on the grill. I'm pretty sure you could do it on the grill when I show you what I've got today for you. So we're gonna do two recipes. We're gonna do a breakfast sausage and poblano. And taco we're, meat. We're gonna do the taco meat one, which is his favorite. It's a yellow queso. So we have two different recipes for you from scratch. I can't wait to get barbecuing with this little man. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. It's his first video, y'all. Okay, so let's get cooking right now. Say right now. Right now. That's what I always say. Okay, let's start it right now. Right now. <laughs> Our first queso starts off with yellow Velveeta cheese and a half pound of taco meat. We're adding fresh onion and tomato and some spicy hatch chili peppers. I'm adding one jalapeno with the seeds for a little heat and some pepper jack cheese for its sharp, cheesy flavor. Now we'll add some cilantro for color and a green salsa verde for acidity. You'll see I've placed our ingredients in a disposable catering pan that I use for my private chef business. I buy these in bulk at Sam's, but you can get them in any grocery store. Now on to the breakfast sausage and poblano queso blanco. Start with a half pound of cooked breakfast sausage, and to that we're gonna add the white Velveeta Blanco. Add fresh onion and tomatoes, and one whole block of cream cheese. Heck yes. Now I'm adding one jalapeno for spice and a full diced poblano pepper for flavor. Add pepper jack cheese and another can of the salsa verde for acidity. Now I'll go get my fire going and find my sous chefs. And just put it in the pan. Uh-huh, put it right in. We're placing both quesos in our Rectech pellet smoker and I'm turning the heat down to time how long the queso takes at smoking temperatures, but this can also be done at hotter temperatures on the grill as long as you make sure the bottom doesn't burn. This is how it looks after about 25 minutes. If you leave the fresh veggies in their own little neighborhoods, they will roast themselves in their own juices, which eliminates the need for canned rotel. And it also lets you use fresh and tasty peppers like hatch chilies. Now that everything looks roasted, all you have to do is stir. You can see that the ingredients provide a lot of moisture to stir into the melted cheese, but if at any time you feel that somehow your batch got too dry, just add a quarter cup of water until it stirs nicely. It took about an hour for the queso to be done, but that's the beauty of this recipe. You could let it sit here, soak up flavors for at least another 30 minutes. It's ready when you are. So we liked it. I think we found a winner. What do you think? He won't stop talking about it. He says it's spicy, but it's not too spicy. And how old are you? Nine. Nine, and like he'll eat salsa at a Mexican restaurant, but he won't eat like those Texas Twinkies, those whole jalapenos I made. So I think he's about an average kiddo. If you wanna do this with your very own family, the recipes are right below, and there's also a principle and tons more recipes on urbancowgirllife.com. I love making queso. We live in Dallas, I'm the Urban Cowgirl. I have 1,500 different quesos, each one better than the next. If you like this recipe, <laughs> Please give us a thumbs up, and if you have a question, just leave it right below. And I'll answer. Gabe's gonna tediously answer any questions that you have <laughs> regarding our smoked queso. Hope you try the recipe for your summer pool party, backyard barbecue celebrations, and hope you guys are doing wonderful. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Your hair, are you eating? Oh, good. You said I don't eat, drink. Well, if you want to do this with your family, the recipe is right below. Can you hear our dog? Shh. Hush, Jack Jack. <laughs> We're going to bring our dog some queso.